Hello and welcome to Sci-Fi Night Light, where I talk about random topics that somehow relate to sci-fi and horror. So, there's a lot of good sci-fi on TV right now. 2016 gave us a return of The X-Files, Stranger Things, Westworld, plus all the great Marvel stuff like Daredevil, Luke Cage, and so on. One show that's getting some good buzz but is still kind of flying under the radar is the British show Black Mirror, which debuted in 2011 and has its fourth season scheduled for release later this year. Black Mirror is an anthology show, so every episode is its own unique story not connected to the previous one. And the show features quite a few big names. Actors such as Jason Fleming, who you might remember from X-Men First Class, Donald Gleason, who was in the fantastic Ex Machina, and some American actors such as Mad Men's John Hamm. The show was created by Charlie Brooker, who also made a 2008 zombie show Dead Set, but Black Mirror is without a doubt his crowning achievement. I would describe Black Mirror as like a box of dark chocolates. So uh, it's an assortment. You never know quite what you're going to get from, from one episode to, to the next, but you know it's going to be dark chocolate. It's a series with sci-fi, thriller, drama and horror elements. And what's it all about? Well, us, people, society, technology. This is the future we are in right now. Where our phones are the first things that we touch when we wake up, the last thing we touch before falling asleep. Radiant, seductive screens we so lovingly, endlessly gaze upon. As the name suggests, it's like a dark reflection of ourselves and our society. Most of the episodes are pretty dark as well, and with some fucked up twists that'll make you go... <laughs> and pretty much every episode takes place in some kind of dystopian near future version of our own world, usually revolving around some kind of technology. For example, in the episode White Bear, a woman wakes up after a seemingly failed suicide attempt to a kind of post-apocalyptic world where people seem to have turned into... phone zombies. They only look through the screen on their phone, don't talk, certainly don't help, and all they do is film. What's wrong with us, people? Why are they helping us? Almost everybody became onlookers. While this woman is chased by hunters, unaffected people who have decided to do the purge and live out their violent fantasies. And of course, it has an ending that'll make you go... In the episode Be Right Back, a woman loses her husband in an accident, but through a clever bot technology, which uses his social media interactions to create responses that fall in line with his personality, her husband's memory becomes more and more real and the technology upgrades until we get an almost Frankenstein-like situation. Also, it's interesting that Domhnall Gleeson would star in two great sci-fi works involving artificial intelligence. This is a different kind of episode since it's not an oh my god twist, but more of a slow descent into darkness. You click the link and you talk to it. And it mimics him. And reads through all the things they've ever said online. The more it has, the more it's him. So, how am I sounding? You sound just like him. There's so much more and all the episodes are pretty relevant to our current social media and technology based culture. In the season 3 finale, Hated in the Nation, a hashtag leads to disliked people getting murdered in some pretty odd ways. 1. Pick a target. Oh my god. 2. Post their name and photo with hashtag death2. 3. Most popular targets will be eliminated after 5pm each day. In Nosedive, the entire society is based around an arbitrary rating of 1 to 5. <laughs> See you tomorrow, JJ. See you, Lacey. And based on your personal rating, your choices in life will be limited. So if you have a low number, you won't have the same opportunities as someone with a high number. Two starts. Two stars? Wasn't a meaningful encounter. Black Mirror truly is a perfect title for the show as well, as it shows us the dangers of our own world and what could happen if certain things are left unchecked or if they go too far. You can feel the influence of The Twilight Zone, X-Files, and other great works of entertainment, but Black Mirror truly puts its own style to it. The world is futuristic, interesting, and a little abstract, but just close enough to our own that we can relate to and identify with the characters in society. After every episode of Black Mirror, you're usually left thinking, wondering, sometimes in horror, sometimes in confusion, and at a few rare points in hopefulness. 
Those moments are few and far between though, as the show generally has a pretty dark outlook on how society is built up. The obsession with attention and being liked in social media, how that media distances ourselves from the world around us, and how it can make us judge people and treat them differently. Fucked up dark twist or not, this is a show that makes you think, wonder, and may even make you do things a little differently. The episode Shut Up and Dance may very well make you rethink how vulnerable we are at our computers. The previously mentioned nosedive also may very well get you thinking about how well social media actually presents us and how shallow that kind of affection can be. Basically, Black Mirror is just great sci-fi with great social commentary. Welcome to a future where our true re reflection is only revealed once the screen goes dark. Welcome to the darkness. Sure, not every single episode is a home run that'll have you talking about it, but pretty much every episode is good at least. And I am planning a top 5 list of episodes for those who only want the creme de la creme. Basically, I just can't recommend this show enough. Just check it out for a chilling and dark reflection of our own world. An interesting, dystopian reflection that is not only beneficial, but to a certain extent, necessary even if you won't always like what's staring right back at you. I quite like the fact that people are watching it on, you know, watching it on their TV or on their laptop or their smartphone or whatever, and then when the, as the end credits start running and the screen cuts to black, they see themselves <laughs> reflected. So that about does it for this episode of Sci-Fi Night Light. We hope you enjoyed it. And what's your favorite episode of Black Mirror? Or have you never even heard of it? Let us know in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Any TV, any LCD, any iPhone, any iPad, something like that. If you just stare at it, it looks like a black mirror and there's something cold and horrifying about that. And it was so, such a fitting title for the show. It was one of those things that, I mean, I don't know what else we would have called it. Spooky technology time would have been rubbish. <laughs>